Tunisians headed to the polls on Sunday to cast their ballots in the country's presidential election, which analysts say President Kais Sayed looks set to win. With most of his challengers in prison or barred from running, Sayed is accused of suppressing political competition. Only two of the candidates were given the go-ahead by the Electoral Commission to run against Sayed, leaving some Tunisians feeling apathetic about the vote. But not those who cast their ballots. It's a duty. You have to understand that. Just now, I called my daughter. I told her to bring her kids because she doesn't live here. She's in another neighborhood. To teach her children about this duty as citizens of this country. In light of the Electoral Commission's decision, the opposition called for a boycott of the vote. But some in the country who hope the election will bring about positive change say a boycott is not the solution. To not vote is not a solution. On the contrary, voting is a positive response. People must come out and vote to show that the Tunisian people participate in these elections and that Tunisia can be better over the next five years. Almost 10 million Tunisians were eligible to vote on Sunday, but with calls for a boycott, voter turnout remains to be seen.